pulled up to this place called the JP Liquor and Wine, and it is the smallest liquor store here in the smallest town possible. Welcome back to another episode of Rocky Mountain Sav. We're in the middle of no man's land, Texas. I have no idea what this city is called. <laughs> I mean, no, no, nobody told me anything. We do have some road trip buddies here with us. Do you have anything to say for us, Wrigley? The best road trip buddies. Will they have any allocated bourbon? Let's go check it out. Hi. Hi there, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Really good, just looking for bourbon. You guys ever get anything special? I'm not from around here. We haven't in a while. In a long time. Definitely okay. taking that. Give me one second. All righty, that's gonna be all for me. Okay. Heck yeah. Already? Mm -hmm. What do y'all normally see through here if you do get it? Like any Eagle Rare? Or? We get Eagle Rare. We'll get Blanton's. We'll get uh, Weller. Yeah, all right. We Thank you so much. Y'all have a good rest of the day. And happy New Year. From my understanding, the Sazerac rye used to be allocated, um, but I had to pick this bottle up because usually when I see this bottle in Colorado, it is $39 or $49. I cannot complain with a $25 bottle of Sazerac rye. All right, guys, here in the same town, we just got back from JP Liquors. We just pulled up and conveniently enough, it is actually the same company as where we were just at. I'm gonna run in here real quick and just see if I can find something interesting. I'm just looking for bourbon and whiskey. Do y'all got anything special? I had a few allocated, but they're all gone. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Yes. Yeah. This came in yesterday on a truck. It's the Cabernet cask of the Harper. That's a pretty rare. That's not your regular Harper, it's the cab cast. Uh -huh. The Jefferson Tropics. Uh, Aged in humidity. Mm -hmm. Those are some that are different, you know. You uh, know what the price of that Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond is? The, let me double check that one. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, I, I like that one a uh -huh. lot. And then I'll just look around real quick. Cinnamon Spice Tennessee Fire. This one's $49.99. Okay, I'll think about that. by that mm -hmm. 9729 oh wow that's a $90 bottle yep okay no, no! No, no! I can't. well I appreciate you helping me out I, I think I'm gonna pass on both of those okay all right thank you so much though all righty have a great one. you as well yeah I went to the second location of the same chain liquor store and uh, this lady was super sweet walked me around the store showed me different stuff that she's gotten in recently so probably five stars as far as the service is concerned um, the two special bottles I was a little bit intrigued with in there although I didn't make any purchases was first the Heaven Hill bottled and bond which is one of my favorite daily drinkers for $49 um, that was the exact cost of it in there. Uh, only reason I passed up is I literally already have it on the bar. Apart from that, I did see some Jefferson's aged in humidity. I literally know nothing about this one. It said that it was finished in Singapore and had all different kinds of metrics for the humid environment that it was uh, supposedly from. Um, so if you guys know anything about that Jefferson's aged in humidity, go ahead and drop in the comments. And I think it was about $92. Um, so just let me know 
Was that a bad thing to pass on or was it overpriced for what it is? Um, I think the only reason I was hesitant is I literally just picked up my first bottle of barrel bourbon, uh, specifically the seagrass, and that was about $90. Um, that drinks spectacular and I had already tried it before so I wasn't about to take a risk on something I hadn't tried if that makes sense but if you guys have tried it go ahead and let me know in the comments. Alrighty guys, this road trip has been absolutely fantastic. We enjoyed uh, Texas with family and I really enjoyed picking up a $25 bottle of Sazerac Rye. Uh, a bottle that literally I find in the glass cases at some liquor stores in Colorado. So to see it just sitting on the shelf with absolutely no markup, um, it felt like a crime if I didn't. Otherwise, we have about 10 more hours on this road trip. I'll catch up with you guys in New Mexico. crashing going 15 miles an hour. <laughs> I think we're just a little ways from New Mexico, but I had to show you guys this sunset because it's about to get dark here and uh, we're gonna be bourbon hunting in the dark in New Mexico, but nonetheless, this is such a beautiful sunset. I just couldn't pass it up. Alrighty guys, we might have just come across something. I don't know the prices yet, but I'm about to go in here and check some things out. We're about to go through Amarillo, Texas, and there is some Weller single barrel that is in here. I can literally see Weller single barrel, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna figure out some prices. Is that the CYPB? Oh my. All right, guys, just came across an absolutely hidden gem here in uh, West Texas, just outside of Lubbock. As you guys can see in that previous footage, there was Weller CYPB, Weller Single Barrel, Antique 107, Weller Full Proof. I mean, they literally had damn near the entire Weller collection. Some other mentions in there is that like, for instance, they were charging $400 for the Weller single barrel, but $140 for Eagle Rare. That is to date the highest price that I have seen on a bottle of Eagle Rare. But at that same time, they're like $300 under secondary market on the single barrel. Really interesting. They did have the George T. Stag in there for $1,000. Obviously, I'm not gonna bite on that price point. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was really tempted at the Weller single barrel. Uh, maybe mistakes were made in there. I probably should have asked the owner if like maybe I uh, took the Eagle Rare off his hands for like a slight markup, like maybe $50 out the door, considering it's a $30 MSRP bottle. Um, you know, maybe, maybe wish you, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna have regrets here, but uh, that is actually my first time seeing Weller single barrel and Weller CYPB in the wild. I'm like razzed right now. Uh, drop in the comments if you think I should have snagged one of those. On to the next city, I guess. All right, what is going on everybody? We are finally in New Mexico. I have been driving for quite some time and I'm a little bit tired. So whenever you're tired on a road trip, I tend to find a liquor store in New Mexico just to see if they have any allocated bourbon. Let's go inside and see what they have. Um, 
Um, as you guys can see in some of that footage, um, there was some Buffalo Trace. I'm actually not sure if I was able to film the Buffalo Trace, but um, I did come across a special variant of the Redwood Empire, so that was pretty neat. Now, they did have the 1792 bottled and bond, which I was a little bit tempted by, um, but I don't know true MSRP cost on that, and they were charging, I believe, $69. Um, uh, they had a sign in there that told, told you to take your sunglasses and hoodie off whenever you enter the store, so I don't know if they've been robbed a few times or what the deal is, but... Uh, yeah, no bourbon scored in New Mexico thus far, so fingers crossed we run across another store that has some really special variants at MSRP. Alrighty guys, so uh, I only got a little bit of footage in that last store. It is 9.51, uh, coming up on 10 o'clock, and we are literally about to hit the Colorado border, so really close to home sweet home. It's been an adventure bourbon hunting thus far, uh, despite me only getting one bottle that's, you know, not the rarest thing in the world. Um, still a great price nonetheless. Some of the notables that I saw in there, um, at least bottles that I like, uh, the Rowan's Creek was in there for $69. Um, I was a little bit tempted with... Uh, there was another bottle of uh, Oak and Eden. There's actually a spiral type cork. It's like a charred, um, you know, wooden spiral that sits in the bottle and it, it looked pretty delicious. I've heard some, you know, people recommend it. Um, I just passed on it for now. Uh, again, probably made a lot of mistakes on this bourbon hunting trip. Um, but the one bottle that I thought was probably the most interesting that I, I didn't even know existed was the uh, Elijah Craig 18 single barrel. Uh, they wanted $160 for it. Um, I quickly looked it up on my phone in the store. It seems that secondary market on a bottle like that is roughly $200. Nonetheless, it's been a fantastic trip. I'm probably not gonna be able to hit another bourbon store just because we are coming up on the 10 o'clock threshold. Um, if for some reason I find one that's still open past this time, then I'll absolutely go in there because you know your boy wants some more bourbon. It's been a great vlog. I hope to see you guys next time. Drop in the comments your favorite bottles. Drop in the comments any bottles you saw in my videos that you think I should have purchased. Um, and most importantly, go out there, try some new bourbons, drink up, and that's what it's all about, drinking bourbon with friends. Have a good one.